passenger endorsement. Now this mostly is going to be used for people who have a CDL class B. However, you can have a class A license with a passenger endorsement as well. That gives you the ability to drive track the trailers just like this and now passenger buses as well. Now this does not mean you can drive school bus just with this endorsement alone. So in this case, you're going to have to first pass the ELDT training course for passenger endorsement. And that's gonna give you access to go to your local DMV and take the actual written test for passenger endorsement. So once that's good, you have a passenger endorsement on your permit, but you're not done yet. At this point, now you have to take a road test in a passenger vehicle to solidify that you know exactly how to interact and how to make sure that you're inspecting the bus correctly, making sure that you know how to park the bus correctly, making sure you know how to interact with railroad crossings on the road driving portion of the test. And then once you pass the whole bus road test itself, now there's still one last part, which means you gotta get fingerprints done. Because you are transporting people, the most valuable cargo out there, 